Welcome to our tech seminar on setting up the Nissan S chassis for best performance in drifting, autocross, gymkhana and road racing. I will be here to answer questions and will advise you on setup. Our first topic is common mistakes in chassis setup. The first most common mistake is over lowering your car. Yo that sheet is whack. You need to slam your sheet to make it handle, stances everything and hella flush is sweet. Sorry to disagree, overlowering causes a number of problems, it can cause mid-corner bottoming, and sudden weight transfer possibly resulting in a loss of control. You sound like the gay ass retards at MotoIQ.com, preaching how to build shitty cars that no one gives a fuck about. Offset is everything you dumb ass. You have to have room to slide just a business card between your tires and fenders to be TI. Stance and fitment is everything. Okay, let's remember we are here to learn how to improve your car's handling. Overlowering has bad effects on the suspension geometry. It can raise the roll center and increase the roll couple, actually increasing body roll and slowing response. It can also cause jacking and a loss of tire contact patch. Whatever's that means, you have to be slammed and drag your muffler yo. That sheet is badass. I drag my sheet half way down the mountain on the toge. If you have stance and are tucked, you are hard as fuck just like me. Fuck that monster truck sheet. Overlowering hurting handling is proven fact in the racing and pro drifting world. Having the car too low makes the suspension gain too much negative camber in cornering causing the tires to lose traction. You are whack. Everyone knows that ass dragging is better and that demon camber is the shit. I watch the TIJDM videos on YouTube and all the option mag DVDs. If too low is bad, then why are all the sweet JGTC cars super low you idiot? If hella flush is bad why are so many race cars hella flush? Can't answer huh? You are a retard. Don't get me wrong, some negative camber is good, it helps the tires tread grip in a turn. Camber thrust contributes as much as 30% to the total cornering force. However too much negative camber is very bad, it can reduce tire contact patch, causing lots of bad stuff. Whatever's I don't understand all the theoretical sheet. I just know what's down where it counts, on the streets. Hella flush is fresh on the streets and the stance nation is down with that. Self-expression is it. Hella flush looks cool, but if you have excessive positive offset because of it, it will screw up the suspension scrub radius which can cause a loss of traction, under turn in, and other seriously bad things. Real race cars are designed to run at low ride heights and have wheels flush with the body for better aerodynamics. Making a production car super low with too much positive offset in the wheels without considering geometry can really mess it up. Yo nerd, check this. Matt Powers represents our clan in Formula D and he kicks ass with his car that you say is too low and hella flush. What do you say about that? Julius. Epic fail. I pound you. Actually Matt now runs better suspension with more travel, raised his car up, and runs lightweight wheels with proper offset. His performance in Formula D has greatly improved since then. Matt is a pro and knows he has to do what it takes to win. Form follows function. What? Oh snap. Matt is now another fucking corporate Formula D sellout. Corporate hater. Why are you hating on the stance nation? We didn't do nothing but floss our style and you jock us with hate. Function is less than for him yo. Look, I'm losing patience with you. I'm trying to teach a class on how to make a Nissan S chassis handle better and your wannabe hipster ass just scouts off with nonsense that you and your triple F forum buddies spread. Why don't you go back to pretending that your beat ass S13 with the fake bike rack for the fixie that you don't even own gives you game because you sure are not fast nor can you drift except in need for speed. You are a poser just like your fake hipster glasses and stick on ironic mustache. The only real mod your car has is the sideways option mag sticker and the stuffed animal that your Pabst Blue Ribbon drinking ass stole from your little sister that you drag on the ground next to your fart can exhaust tip. 
I used to like the Nissan S chassis, but due to the mainstream popularity of drifting, the worst elements of the civic nation seem to have adopted this car as their flagship. I'm getting very depressed, and am now looking for a sharp object to plunge into my jugular. You're a hater spreading hate, I am a player beach. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Sorry for losing my temper and ranting on you like that. My outburst was unfounded and immature. Please accept my sincere apology. Tell me, since we are all supposed to be car lovers, let me ask you, why did you come to my tech seminar anyway? Because I want my car to be a stoner so I can tap beaches. Is there a tall building around here? Anyone have some special Kool-Aid? Where is the line for Z oven? Someone steady the gun for me, so I can get both hemispheres in my brainstem with one shot. <laughs>